Greetings, my beautiful nation of the Pyongyang Supreme People's Assembly. I wish to speak with you about the pigs of America. Last month, Hollywood man children Seth Reagan and James Franco released a propaganda reel called The Interview, in which they, under false Western pretenses, attempt to assassinate me. Acts of war like this call for retaliation, and I have sacrificed much of our nation's wealth and countless lives to battle these terrorists on the same ground that they've affronted us on, the English cinema. So I present to you... From my dear departed father and great son of nation, Kim Jong-il. I shall, father. I shall. Seth Regan and James Franco? <laughs> you think it a funny to mock invisible God? <laughs> well, now you see me. Now you don't! Now you see me. <laughs> now you don't! <laughs> Seth Regan? Now you see me. No, you don't! Oh, where am I? Ah! James and Franco! I can tell Jokey too, funny man. I am clever. Witty. Fun. <laughs> Please. Dude, I'm telling you I'm not James Franco. I don't even look like him, okay? And he's not, and he's not Seth Rogen, okay? We're just tourists. Oh, you not a James Franco? Then what about this? And you? You not a Seth Rogen? Then how do you explain this? Now it's my turn for joke, funny man. Why did the chicken Cross the road without explicit command from high authority. Seriously? I, I don't know why. Because the chicken was Western terrorist named James Franco, who was hell-bent on unhinging the unrivaled stable nation. <laughs> I have a jockey for you too, Seth Reagan. It's a knock a knock a joke. Knock a knock! Now that Seth Reagan and James Franco are out of the way, I've been approached by Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah to star in Superbad 2. I will play McLovin's uncle, the immortal supreme leader of North Korea. And so, as you huddle for warmth tonight in your cold homes, I remind you that a happy North Korea is a really nice idea.